Welcome to uh, Michael Adil Ahmed Arabic class. Uh, I just did my uh, final oral exam for this first beginner's class. And so now I want to share with you more aspects of Arabic using the narrative of a story to give you some forms of Arabic. Remember this is not 100%. I didn't get 100% in the exam and you are going to get 100%. But you will get to learn some Arabic. Okay. So, uh, it is supposed to be um, Tajirdi Bhatti Fil Jamil Il Ibriya. And I think this is saying, and this is the title we were given, uh, my experience in the University of Hebrew University. And Jamil Il Ibriya, Jamia Il Ibriya, that's Fil uh, Jamil uh, in Ariya, that's Hebrew University. Notice that you have the word Jamia University before the word Ibriya Hebrew. Okay. The Sim Yahsuwa Al Masi Al Awal wa Al Akhir in the name of Yeshua Yeshua Al Masiya Al Masi the Messiah. Al Awal, the first, wa Al Akhir, and the last. Al Awal, Al the first, Awal, Awal, the first, wa, and Al Akhir, Akhir, the last. Okay, so we notice in Arabic that the definite article is produced by Al, but Notice also when I said Phil Jamil Il Ibriya, the Al was present in Phil. Fi was in. Al is the. But in some cases in Hebrew, many in, in Arabic, you do not pronounce the Al. Sometimes you don't even pronounce the L. In this case, we pronounce the L, Phil Jamia, in the Jamia, but, uh, but in this case we pronounced the, uh, the L, but sometimes you don't even pronounce that, but for now, understand that. In order to let the language flow, Arabic often removes the connections between words to make the language flow. Okay. Another example, if I say to you Sabah ad Nur, which is the reply to Sabah al Khair, which is good morning. Sabah al Khair, good morning. And the reply is Sabah al Sabah an Nur. But an Nur, an Nur, is actually made up of two words al Nur, the light. Al Nur. But the nun or the n in the second word, nur, is called a sun letter. That means that when the al precedes a sun letter, the l disappears and the beginning letter of the next word, the nun, is doubled. So it becomes sabah an nur instead of sabah al nur. And they do this with 14 sun letters which are usually the dentals which means that you're using them with your tongue against the teeth and the palatals the palate of your mouth inside uh, la, 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 la. they are the letters which are sun letters which when the definite article precedes them the sound of the L disappears completely and you double the first letter of the next word okay so that was the introduction Bissem in the name of Yeshua al Messiah al Awal wa al Lach Akhir, the first and the last. Yahweh be with you. Stay.